Well, after a two year pandemic break, a beloved Long Island tradition is back. The Scottish Festival and Highland Games return to Old Westbury Gardens today. News Swell's Erica Ferrari checking out the fun and festivities. <music> The sound of bagpipes filled the air at the Scottish Festival and Highland Games. Thousands came out to celebrate a love of Scotland. My family's originally from Scotland, so I've been listening to the bagpipes for God only knows how long we've been coming for years. It's one of the island's oldest festivals, dating back to 1960, and held here at Old Westbury Gardens for two decades, with dancing, food, and traditional Scottish games for both young and old, like tossing the sheaf, stone, and caber. A caber is what a lot of people in the States call a tree. And to win it, you have to toss it end over end from six to 12 is a perfect throw. Close. There were Scottish dog breeds, and of course, no shortage of tartan and kilts. This is an ancient McGregor kilt, uh, day jacket, sporin, uh, dirk, and skin do, which is a utility knife. And how do you feel wearing this outfit? Uh, kind of nostalgic. And if you forgot to bring your Scottish wear, there was plenty to pick up here with vendors selling all kinds of Scottish goods. And organizers stressed you don't have to be Scottish to enjoy yourself here. In fact, the Scottish Festival and Highland Games is a charity, and their goal is to educate the general public on Scottish history and customs. In Old Westbury, Erica Ferrari, News 12, Long Island. All right, thank you so much, Erica. And many modern inventions can be traced back to the Scots. They include penicillin, the first known artificial form of refrigeration, and the world's first demonstration of true television. Thank you.